not a weapon. It's perfect. I know the feeling. Dude. Huh? I know the feeling. It's Precious Carter. Hi. The blah blah blah. Okay. Right, Hi, I'm Precious Carter. I am the creative performing arts coordinator here at Hyattsville Middle School. So, um, Miss Carter, how long have you been the coordinator here at Hyattsville? Um, I've been a coordinator here for almost two years because mm. I came in the middle of the year, came in October. So um, this full October actually made, um, I guess, a year, a full year. So it won't be another two years until the following October. So I see. So um, what are the primary responsibilities of a CPA coordinator? The primary responsibilities are to support the team of CPA teachers. Um, and to ensure that those students who audition are getting the development instructional practice that they're supposed to receive regarding the CPA program, to go out and recruit for the program, and to ensure that um, the students are getting you know, further development as far as college and career readiness and, and supporting the teachers in doing that. All right. Um, so before you were the CPA coordinator here at Heightsville, what did you do? I was a vocal music teacher, course teacher for 17 years at Thomas Stone Elementary School. All 17 years? At All 17 Thomas, years Thomas at the Stone. same school. Here, because I'm not originally from here. So I mm. taught for three years where I'm from, in Richmond, Virginia, uh, and then came here, and I was at that one school for 17 years. What do you do in your um, like your personal time? What are your hobbies or stuff? Aside from singing, of course, we know that you But I don't sing. I sing. I don't sing a lot as a hobby. I usually sing when I'm singing. I'm singing because someone asks me to sing, (laughs) and um, it's usually contractual, and I'm getting paid for it. Hmm. So so, (laughs) um, that's how I. That's how it is now. But um, I like to go to the movies. I love going to the movies. I'm a movie buff. Hmm. Um, I go to the movies a lot. With you know, with my friends and with my son. So I do like to go to the movies. So, but I'm I'm working on my doctorate. So I don't really have a lot of free time like I used to. Hmm. Um, it's coming down to the wire with me doing my dissertation, and I'm losing it. <laughs> so I'm two classes away from my dissertation courses. Hmm. So it's almost really been strong. Yeah, almost there. So I'm trying not to give up because this class I'm in now is really really hard. Mm-hmm. But I'm trying to stay focused. But yeah, most of the time I like to go to the movies. I'm kind of much a pretty much a homebody. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to have my friends at my house and we do chips and dips and kirk out and act crazy and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. But I do like to go into town sometimes too and <laughs> let my hair down. But as far as that, yeah, pretty much that's what I like to do. And I'm in a, um, I like to act. So presently, one of my girlfriend's husband is an author and he wrote a play. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm presently practicing for the play. I have one of the leading roles and so when it comes up I'm going to invite you guys to come out and see I it. I hope so. We'd love to see it. Um, is it okay if we ask you about um, family? No, it's fine. Sure. Is that your kid? Yes. Evan. Yes. Tell us more about um, Evan. Oh, uh, So Evan is my son. He is nine and a half years old. Um, he is a bundle of energy. He's very outgoing. Um, very dramatic. He is a lot like me, mm-hmm. but he has a lot of his father's characteristics as well. Um, both his father and I are both singers. So um, I didn't want to push Evan into singing. Mm-hmm. I think that acting came natural for him. But this summer, he started listening to himself and he's beginning to notice that, hey, I sound pretty good. But we stayed out of it. We just let him kind of develop it. Yeah. Um, he fell in love with old school singing, so he is a Temptation fan. Mm-hmm. So um, <laughs> we have tons of Temptation CDs, and he learns all the songs, and he practices, and we go to karaoke and let him sing and all that good stuff. But he is uh, pretty much an A student. Um, mm-hmm. He always has been. He doesn't have a problem with academics. He just has a problem with talking. So, yeah, if you got to meet him, you think he's cool. He is a collector. He and his dad are collectors. Um, they collect... DC um, comic and Marvel action figures. His mm-hmm. daddy started um, when he was six years old, and um, Evan latched on to it. So he probably has mm, over a thousand of them wow. already as a nine and a half year old. He knows the history behind them and all that other good stuff, that comic book stuff. And we do the Comic Con and yeah. What do I have to say about Hot You don't have. You don't have to if you don't have one. I can say. Um, to always stay focused on your dreams and what you want to do. If you're really passionate about something that you want to do, stay focused. Know what it is you need to do and do it. And don't allow anybody to keep you from doing it. You know, 
Because I'm one of those kids who grew up in a single parent household. I was, a, you know, my parents were divorced when I was nine. So that was a transition for me. But just knowing as a kid what I wanted to do and having that support and just knowing in my brain that this is what I want to do, mm -hmm. that I stayed focused. So I knew at a very young age that I wanted to do something in the arts. You know, I, I sung as a little kid, but I danced too. Mm -hmm. So I didn't quite get into it. And at one point I wanted to be a police officer and a lawyer and all that good stuff. And then I just kind of figured out that this is what I was good at. So when you really figure out that thing that you're good at mm -hmm. and you know what you're good at, then focus on that and be dynamic at whatever that is. Yeah, that's it. Hi, I'm Precious Carter, CPA coordinator here at High School Middle School. And thank you for interviewing me.